Hey everybody, Dustin Dale's back here at the Funny Bone Comic Club, 168th and Dodge Village Point Mall, up on the upper deck. You de definitely want to come check it out this weekend because we've got not only the host of American Ninja Warrior, not only an Emmy Award winner, we've also got a doctor <laughs> in the house. Which Who's he talking about? Blew my mind. His name is Matt Eisen. Matt, how you doing, bud? I'm doing awesome, Dustin. Thrilled to be here. But people don't know my, my roots go deep in Nebraska. My my folks grew up in Fremont. Really? So yeah, I mean this this is I was actually out here three weeks ago with the family, uh, hanging out in Fremont. Really? We were big time in it. Yeah, in <laughs> Fremont. We just drove right through Omaha. <laughs> so were you were you a Husker fan growing up? Oh yeah, because yeah. I grew up in Colorado, but that was when uh, the Buffaloes were really struggling, and my folks we would come out, we'd go to Lincoln, go see games. And so, like, I am hip, Mike Rozier, Rozier all, all those guys. I, I still remember I punched a hole in my childhood bedroom door when we, when we, we, when Osborne went for two against Miami. You're probably too young in the Orange no, Bowl, and they lost. But I loved it. He was, like, he was going for the win, which I loved. That's the way Nebraska does it. So you still staying current with Nebraska football? Yeah, yeah. I love the black shirts. I, I was hoping that uh, I didn't play football in college, so I'm not sure eligibility-wise if at 46 I could uh, come out for the team and be a dead body or something. Well, Skirts are getting huge. If, if you guys still need a player, Matt Eisman is available. He does have some athletic experience at once a week on Monday nights. Right, right. <laughs> well, see, it's much easier to talk about people doing amazing athletic things. That's why I like hosting. Yeah, you mentioned your college days. You actually were well, a pretty smart guy. Not only did you get your doctor, you got it from Columbia, and yeah. you played baseball at Princeton. Yes, yeah, the mighty baseball powerhouse <laughs> that is Princeton <laughs> University. Well, no, I mean, see, I keep coming back to Nebraska. It's like in Little League, we were in the, we went to the regional All Stars. We got to play at the University of Nebraska, and that was when I first got a taste for maybe I'm good at this. And but I'm not, I'm not good enough to go to. I'll go to Princeton to play baseball at Princeton. Now, at what point in your doctor career, this uh, well-established career, right. Columbia, Princeton, all that, when did you decide, screw it, I'm going to do comedy? I was in the intensive care unit, and I was, I, I had patients. I was, I was taking care of patients, oh, okay. and I had like seven patients, and I was like, oh my God, people's lives are in my hands, and all I'm thinking about was going back and playing Goldeneye on Nintendo 64, <laughs> and that was when, and here was one of those realizations where people are like, man, did you know you were funny? You knew you had to be a comedian? Like, no. But I knew I shouldn't be a doctor, and so I had to try something else. So, well, I comedy. Got, I think it's working for you. You've <laughs> yeah. had a pretty good run. It's been amazing. I mean, it's it's awesome that I, I you know, I'm hosting Ninja Warrior, where I, I get to be here doing stand-up comedy, which is my my first love. And tonight we were just saying Hollywood Game Night is on. I got to play games with Jane Jane Lynch, the cast of Orange Is the New Black, and Tay Diggs. Oh, nice. Right. I know. Pretty good set. It was it was awesome. And Gabby Douglas was there, gold medal gymnast, and she's slightly more flexible than I am. I was trying to get her to come on Ninja Warrior. Can you give me a spoiler? Did you win? Um. Well, I guess we could say <laughs> no. And but I will say I play very well. I'm good at the game. What was your there. favorite game on the show? Uh, it's called Auto Tune, where you you sing a song, but it tunes. It takes your voice and just turns it into like Stephen Hawking flat translation and so people are just hearing words but i was so loud that i'm like it's the of the time and people are like well we hear you we know what song you're singing so that was an advantage of being loud i think it was technically cheating but jane didn't say anything now you're a comedian one of the the greatest comedians of all time betty white me? oh i thought oh. you were gonna say me i'm like that's totally true hey, it's early yet one it's of the early. greatest you right you never know you could go down as one betty of the white yeah hot in cleveland you made a guest appearance on yes. this show it was it was one of the coolest things because you you go on and it's it's Betty White, Jane Leaves, um, Valerie Bertinelli, and Wendy Malick. Like all you know, so much sitcom, multicam sitcom experience. And Betty White, I, I I just got to sit on on the set and watch her. And and every take she nails it. And then in between takes, she just is so quick and so funny. And in my scene. I'm in bed with Valerie Bertinelli, so I got to spend all day, like, and, and I grew up on one day at a time, so I'm like, Valerie Bertinelli and me, we're in bed together, and she's spooning me, that was the joke. <laughs> Not a bad uh, It was great, it was, it was awesome. But, but I would say, uh, they, you know, it was usually on a sitcom, you know, you'll five days a week, and, and you shoot on the fifth day, and, you know, it'll be like eight-hour days rehearsing. With those, it was like two or three hours, because they were all such pros, and I think also they were, Betty White <laughs> was like, you get two hours, that's what you get. And then I'm out of here, I'm gonna have a Snickers, I'm tired. 
But it was great. Great experience. What was something about Betty White that maybe a lot of people don't know that you found very fascinating? I, I, I honestly just, well, that she was, I, I mean, I didn't learn it on the show, but that she was a pinup. Like, she's a bombshell growing up. And, you know, we've known her as America's lovable grandma, and you see her, and it's just, she was like the Kim Kardashian of the 40s or something, like, coming on to your stage now, Betty White! And you're like, man, she was a dish. And, and what I love is she's so funny, so clearly she had the looks and the personality. Now, you also did something really cool this past year. You were the winner of the new Celebrity yeah. Apprentice. How was that experience? That was awesome. It, it was... It was so much fun getting to go on it, particularly because there's Arnold Schwarzenegger, who's like my childhood hero, and and getting to meet you know Vince Neil of Motley Crue, Eric Dickerson, and Ricky Williams from the NFL, Layla Ali. I, I was a total fanboy of everyone going in there, and I didn't I didn't expect to win. Um, so kind of going in, I'm just like I'm just gonna have a fun time. And then as it gets near the end, like I, I end up going head to head with Boy George and winning, and it was it was amazing. Like. Arnold, I was over at Arnold's house a, like a couple weeks ago. Not hang, I mean, he was, I was working like at a charity event. And he's sure. like, Matt, come over. I'm like, we can have beers. He's like, no, you're going to work for me. I'm like, oh, okay, buddy. Um, but it's been amazing, uh, the experience. And we raised almost a million dollars for charity. And I got to have Brooke Burke like hang out in a bikini in front of me, which was, if my girlfriend's watching this, it was not fun. It was a job. That sounds like work. the worst job. It was you could awful. It have. was so hard. <laughs> and then, of course, we got to talk about the big one: American Ninja Warrior. Yeah. This, this, this sport. I got to say itself. Yes. Over the last five, ten years, it just exploded. Now you're getting all sorts of gyms all across the country specializing in this stuff. Yeah. It's blowing up. We had a contestant from Omaha. And I'm, I feel terrible. I'm blocking his name, but like virtually anywhere you go in the country, you're gonna find a ninja, a gym, or someone who wants to do it with backyard obstacles. It's, it's been incredible, I think, seeing the women um, do unbelievably well. In fact, University of Nebraska has Maggie Thorne and one of the greatest, Jesse Graff, who is a pole vaulter at Nebraska. And it's been awesome w just seeing it go from, you know, we started on G4, a network that no, no longer exists, to being, like you said, it's not just a show, it's a sport. And we're, we just announced the American Ninja Warrior experience, so we're going to be touring around the country, bringing the course uh, and opening it up where, you know, you buy a ticket, you get to compete on the course and have a chance to go on the actual, we're going to have like a, the, a professional American Ninja Warrior course with real ninjas and you can have a chance to go head to head. I will not be doing it. I'll just be announcing everything. I got to ask you, did you do some of the I, Well, so last year, last year in Vegas, I tried one of the obstacles, dislocated a bone in my foot and had oh. to have surgery. So I'm like, I'm sticking to hosting and comedy where let them do those crazy ninja things. Tell me that wasn't your first time trying to. No, I've done it. And okay. I've, I've gotten through, you know, I probably tried 20 obstacles and gotten through one or two with multiple tries. It is so hard. And the good ones make it look so easy. And I've really just gone, why am I trying? Like, literally, me trying this is just like taking a, a a plate and smashing it against the wall. You're like, it's not going to end well. It's it's stupid to try it. So I, I, but then every time I get on the course, you start to go, I think I still got it. I'm an athlete. Baseball players are athletes. What course was it? What obstacle broke? It was the Flying Squirrel in Vegas at the end of stage one. And it was this, it was like a six foot drop onto a trampoline where then you'd spring up to these handles. And I just hit the tramp and my, I collapsed and face planted into the water in front of everybody. And I knew my foot was hurt, but everyone was watching, all the ninjas and Akbar and Christine. So I had to come up and be like, nailed it. That's what I meant to do. And then limp off into the trailer and cry myself to sleep that night. It's embarrassing. <laughs> His name is Matt Eisman. He's in town all the way through Saturday. Make sure you come check him out. Now, there was a big story that broke today. Now free on the streets. Yes. Lo the loose... I screwed up already. The juice is loose. The juice is it's loose. You're nervous. Yeah, yeah. You're nervous. I'm nervous. He, he's watching. I, 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 it's so crazy. I, I think for, depending on what age you are, uh, like I'm 46, so I grew up, I, I caught the tail end of his football career, but I saw him as an announcer. I saw him pitching Hertz where he was sprinting through the airports, and I saw him on uh, the Naked Gun movies as Nordberg, like the lovable guy. And, and to remember, I remember where I was back in 94, when it was announced, you know, that, that, that this all started into motion and you're just like, 
this can't be true. OJ's the lovable guy. And it's, it's amazing seeing now it all played out full circle and the, the Kardashians really came to be because of this. And, and it's, it's unreal. Like the guys, and, and wondering, he's going to get a TV show. Mm -hmm. Someone's going to put him on something. You know Kris Jenner is sitting there figuring out, <laughs> keeping up with the Kardashians and the Jews. <laughs> I, I don't know. It'll be it'll be amazing. Um, maybe he'll come on Ninja Warrior. I was I just going to say, he's looking pretty good for his age. What, he's like 70 now, I think. He's going to be on Ninja Warrior next season. I'm I, predicting it. I, that would be, I, I think NBC would uh, would get a little nervous <laughs> casting OJ coming out there. Maybe Cuba Gooding Jr. will come out and reprise his role oh, from People vs. OJ. Cuba's going to have another role coming up. <laughs> I like it. The Juice on Ninja. His name is Matt Eisman. He's in town all weekend long. Make sure you check him out Monday nights. NBC, American Ninja Warrior, uh, flip it over right now to Hollywood Game Night. Yes. Whatever you got to do, make sure you check out this guy. He's funny. He's a doctor, for crying out loud. One of the rare <laughs> doctors we get in here that's hilarious. Make sure you come check him out all weekend long. Matt, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Dustin, total pleasure. Thank you. Take care, guys.